Welcome back to Sunless Skies. In the last episode, we were doing a bunch of officer quests. And this episode, I want to continue that. I think there's only one thing we can really do, though, inside of the Reach, since all the others are pretty much pointing to Albion. Uh, the Repentant Devil, we just managed to finally speak with them after getting the two gourds of Chorister Nectar and the two candies of dried tea. And um, I think what they want to do is go check a couple of key places that they think might have information on who is trying to kill them. Remember when we first invited them on board at Port Avon many, many episodes ago? There was an assassin that just appeared on board. I only found it after the Repentant Devil had already killed them. So they came onto the boat and seemingly minutes later, there was a dead body. It'd be nice to know why. They want to know why, too. So one of the places is Kirillin. The other two are, I think, in Albion. Definitely not in the Reach. But Kirillin, I can do. So I'm just going to buy some supplies. Doesn't particularly matter how much. 7-7, seven, seven, that's good. And I'm off to Kirillin. We've arrived. Let's get a port report. And I guess let's just get right to speaking to the presiding deviless. I've already seen those descriptions, but this is what we wanna this is what we came here for. Introduce the repentant devil to the presiding deviless. Use the full and florid title that appears on his visiting card. When the deviless is not visibly impressed, the devil says, I brought a small gift, a trifle you might find of value. He produces from his satchel a three-volume set bound in fire, his own work. Some methods for flavoring a soul to the tastes of a particular judgment, she reads. She tosses the set on her desk. It huffs smoke. We are just a touch more modern now. It's a fine antiquarian piece, she adds unforgivably. But we find those approaches rather cumbersome. Besides... We find we need to appeal to the original owners of the souls, offer them an experience worth paying for. Hmm, hard to impress. I want to read that title again. Methods for flavoring a soul to the tastes of a particular judgment. That's a weird way to put it. Because it brings to mind that they want to, like, season the soul and then eat it. <laughs> They just want it to taste a certain way. And maybe they do, but it also sounds like it's saying methods for making a soul more adapted to a particular type of judgment. Persuade him to withdraw or let him show how she's wrong. Let him show how she's wrong. In its various gardens, Kirillin punishes souls into greater refinement. Perhaps he would like to visit one and demonstrate how it can be improved. He adjusts this mirror to reflect futures. Adjusts that blade to cut off the sense of smell. He leaves the penitents howling. Before you go, one of the penitents approaches with a note. Someone was here looking for the devil. The note just didn't make its way through official channels. The repentant devil has become more ambitious. Hmm. So I guess they were able to improve things here. Ah, remember how there's a couple places... In Kirillin, um, places where you get different types of pendants that kind of require special things, like most of these you can kind of just go to. But there's a couple here that require clear and flickering. That's referring to your soul, I think. Yeah, you need a clear soul to be admitted. Um, I was thinking that some of these might be mutually exclusive. Like, for example, I have one stained. My soul is stained. And I was thinking clear is maybe the opposite of stained. Uh, but somebody in the comments of one of the previous videos told me that it's actually not. They're not mutually exclusive at all. So I, I think you can be both stained and clear and flickering. I don't know how you get any of these things. I'll have to come back here at some point. Any hot deals? Chorister Nectar, heck yeah. Okay. Um, well, the next thing I want to do is explore. I want to go back to exploring to finish out the Reach, and especially to find the Regent's Grave, specifically. I'm wondering what might be back here. 
I am in the area. Might as well explore it, right? Um, do I have enough supplies? Because I don't think this place sells every type of supply I need. Where they sell? They just sell supplies, not fuel. But I've got plenty of fuel. That's fine. I'll buy a couple more things of supplies, and let's go exploring here. It looks like it ends right there. Maybe. I can't tell actually. Let's go check. Oh, I think that's a way through. I love the snowy biome. Yeah, I'm particularly interested what's at the edge of the world. I feel like there might be more interesting things there, you know? So let's head in that direction. Straight ahead. Smart on the map, I should be able to explore this one. Yeah. An abandoned signal box. I think I found these before, and I think they all have the same descriptions. Yeah, I think that's the same. It, you can do the same thing as at uh, Cuddle's Comb, I think it was. Read the cache or read the ledger. Let's read the ledger. This one's from Captain Smith. Captain writes of a homestead. Their locomotive passed when journeying from Port Avon. The buildings were in the style of old London. The nostalgia brought the crew together after a near-disastrous encounter with a chorister bee. Richard Romer. Gleams with frost. Its windows are dark, its engines silent. Perhaps something of value lies within. Oh, nice. My veils are so high. 100% chance of success to enter through the yawning tear in the hole. Let's do that. Uh, I think we've seen these descriptions before. So, we can go to the galley to get supplies, magazine for munitions, captain's quarters for who knows what, crew quarters for sovereigns, or fuel. Let's try to get munitions. There we go. Your party gingerly scavenged boxes of ammunition, firing pins, and other delicate components you might need for repairs. Then you hurry back to your locomotive in time to watch the wreck. Cracks split and spill its remaining secrets into the sky. I think my bat can only find one thing at a time. It has nothing to report. Yeah, it looks like it's a clear pathway to Lustrum.
the claim fields. That's got to be named after all the claims at Lustrum, right? Do the claims go out that far? Nothing to be found. Okay, so there's probably nothing over here, at least as far as, like, encounters. But I'm sure there's stuff to see. Yeah, I, I want to, like... Hmm. Wait, what can I get at Lustrum? They sell fuel and supplies at Lustrum. You know what I might as well do? Go to Lustrum and just keep going north to explore this huge area. I'm already here, you know? I was going to just go back down here and clear this out. Go back to Carilla New Winchester, but yeah, I might as well do this. Alright. I love that it says, your bat is gleeful. There was nothing to report, or nothing to be found, rather. It's happy it found nothing. The mother of mountains bleeds ours. Can you taste her misery? The repentant devil is curious, not sad. I'm not going to cut this docking because this place just looks so cool and we haven't been to it very often. And I love the smoke coming out of the chimneys. Oh, we have a thing to turn into Sweet Jane. One of the nameplates or something like that. They have caddies of dried tea. Uh, what to do first? Before I forget about it, let's get a port report. Let's <laughs> let's attempt to climb the mountain in search of the singing caves. Let's do that again. 15% chance. That'll be great. Let's explore Lustrum. I think we've done that before. Um, yeah, we've seen that before. Lend assistance. Somebody who's injured. Lost a supply. We've already seen that before. Oh, we can try another flavor at the tea shop. Yes, buy a cup, reduced our tear. Um, we have tried... We've tried Indulgence from the Blue Kingdom. That was that nasty tasting stuff. I think we've tried Eleutherian Gold. I don't think we've tried Empress's Favor. The Taste of Home. Familiar, comfortable with just a hint of lingering bitterness. A true Londoner's blend. Anything new to do with Melisine? Trade two uncanny specimens for a savage secret. That is a horrible deal for me because I have like 20 plus savage secrets. I've already looked at the inventions, all that stuff. Yeah, I remember I tried to do more stuff with everybody here when I was here for the singing cave thing. And I think I've pretty much done it all. I could leave more people at my very own claim in the mountain. <laughs> nah. Let's turn in all your charred nameplates for sovereigns. Oh, we also get Tackadee's Gratitude. Sweet Jane has promised recompense for murder. We get 50 sovereigns per each. Not that much, but it's something, and increases our favor and all that good stuff. Sweet Jane counts your bounty out with relish, then slides it across the desk with a wink of her good eye. There's more where this came from, she says. Turn in 12 charred nameplates for a moment of inspiration. Ooh. Moment of inspiration is rare. Otherworldly artifact, ministry stamp permits. Yes, yeah, so if you gather up the nameplates, you could get some pretty special stuff. Oh, right, my crew's still here because I don't have room for them. They can't keep hanging around on the mountain forever. Are you sure about that? <laughs> we'll see. Visit my claim, climb the mountain. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I want to do here. Mm -mm. Let's just buy some supplies and go. I don't think I should actually buy the caddies of dry tea. I think I should buy those after I come back down. If I come back down. 
I might just end up going all the way through to the nature reserve. Depending on how it hooks up with all that over there. Maybe I should just buy it. It's just that it's five, and if I do that, then I won't have a super huge amount of room for supplies. Mm. Ah, screw it, I'll buy it all. Damn, do I love tea. Three of that, one of that. Six fuel, eight supplies, let's go. I remember I started to go up here once, a while ago, and then I think I immediately encountered a bull cantankery, and it fucked me up, and I had to limp back to Lustrum. Shouldn't have any problem with that this time, though. I just love how this place looks. An eerie glowing mountain just in the darkness. Looks like it's in the middle of nowhere. It's like everything just disappears around it. I guess that's the mountain going down and down and down, but can't see down that far before it just turns to fog. Oh, hello. These new weapons are so much better taking out the Scrivers. Experience or Bronzewood? Well, I don't actually have any room for Bronzewood, so experience. 250. It's actually a really good amount of experience. Curator's egg. Wait, wait. I've never seen that before. Also, it looks sort of like a bat. Is that a curator? I think that might have been a live curator. Uh... Well, I, I think, like, I kind of want to leave it alone almost, but I think I sort of have to take it or throw it away, but throwing it away would just be destroying it. Perhaps not would probably also be the same as throwing it away, although I'm not sure. Um, let's take it, and then we got to deal with an angry curator. I'm sorry? It's not like your baby's inside of it, though, right? Probably? Just like a bunch of weird stuff inside of it. I don't know. I'm scared of you. Uh, oh yeah, that's a curator. Holy shit. I don't know how powerful you are, but probably very.
Ooh. Ooh, that hurt a lot. Oh, it homes! It homes! Oh my god, it has so much health. It's completely running away because of how hurt it is. What is that? Glass st oh my Hicksventraconus? What uh, this is a horror. And it sure is. And that's where the thing went. The curator. <laughs> Just had to go there, huh? Okay. Oh my god, what is it? Grave of the Silent Saint. Ah, oh, here we go. Mm, it's like right at the edge of the world. Oh, it looks so cool. The curator defeated. Its wings are perforated and torn. Its head lolls like a broken toy. It's still... I feel bad about that. I mean, Mr. Penny's is a curator, right? They were nice. <sighs> Search for treasures or take a trophy. I don't... Uh, no, trophy's gross. I don't even need it for a quest or anything. Let's search for treasures. The curator's wings have curled in death, swaddling its body. The lumps suggest concealed items, but you'll need to unfurl the wings to investigate. You and a crew member don sky suits and head outside. This creature's wings were thin and battered even before you strained your weapons or trained your weapons upon it, rather. They tear when you unfold them. Its body is thin. The ridges of its ribs pressing through the patchy, dull fur. An old scar traces the shape of a sigil. I can't look at it, Captain. It makes my teeth sing. An engineer winces and turns away. Examine the creature's collection. The curator carries items using a tight net harness. There's a fleshy, leathery quality to the fine cords. The cords of the net are stained a dark rust brown. They part reluctantly under your knife, creaking as you saw at them. There's a stone the size of your fist and the shape of a tear. An Enfield revolver engraved with faded initials. A tube long as your arm and thick as your thigh, hollow and smelling of sulfur. A flower with pollen acidic enough to blister steel. A rope. 98 sovereigns and a condemned experiment. What exactly is that? I've never had one of those before. Uh, that would be in possessions, right? Yeah, it's an academic type thing. The process was unconscionable, but results are results. Acquire these at Whirlbury Juxtamare in Albion. Or here. Yeah, this is absolutely amazing looking, and I don't understand what I'm even looking at. It's like the very world has frozen. Grave of the Silent Saint. The Auspicious Nilsson. Signal to look for anybody else, leave it, or mourn the dead. Um, let's signal. Anybody there? Yes. A faltering glow burns on the frost. Someone has struck a match. I think we've probably seen that description before. They'll share their hoarded supplies with you. One supply. Nice. I want to go to the edge of the world here just to see if the ice continues out here. Oh, yes it does. So disorienting the way the bottom moves separately from the glass and ugh. what is like what is this directly be beneath us Th that's something maybe a creature is that the silent saint i don't know what i'm looking at but it sort of looks like an open maw ugh. what is that
I don't think we can go any further in here. I think it's just a dead end. Yeah. Well, um, let's go back down this way. Let's see where this leads. Hopefully it kind of goes deep into here. Hopefully up and around, actually. It definitely doesn't come out anywhere here, as we can see. There's some nasty spikes. A split. Something down. Let's go that way then. Can I hit those spikes? No, but... Oh, oh shit. Jesus Christ, that scared me. We do have room for the bronze wood. Success. I can't mine you. Wait, what did you find? It, fa <laughs> it found something, but what? I don't see anything new. Hmm. Hey, Daggity. Okay, so that just joins up with this whole area over here. I still bet one of these things, like either that one or this one, probably leads up and around. Because, like, I'm pretty... This looks like this probably would lead around here. It just feels like it should. Uh, but I want to explore more of this. This is so close to New Winchester, but I've never explored it. I don't know why I fire my gun so often, by accident. Alright, this one's on purpose just because it's very satisfying to shoot this thing.
Mm, I don't want to go backwards. Fungal fragment. This has become so common around New Winchester. Study it as always. Vision of the heavens. Try not to immediately crash into it. And uh, yeah, it looks like that's pretty much it. Alright, I'm going to turn in port reports back to New Winchester, drop off stuff, resupply, all that good stuff. Ah, there's some new prospects. We need five barrels of unseasoned hours for the circus, and three consignments of souls for Port Prosper. Five barrels of unseasoned hours. I think I have those in my bank. Yeah. And I even have the jumbles of undistinguished souls if I wanted to go to Port Prosper. Port Prosper's pretty far out there, though. But yeah, that's really far. And it's only three, so it's not actually worth all that much. But the circus being that close and five of these, definitely worth it. All right, I'm going to go do that real quick. At the circus now. Let's get our free tickets. Write a port report. Visit the amusements. We have 2% terror and 2% is like nothing, but I guess we might as well listen to the new arrival stories. Down to 0% terror. Sell all our thingies. Oh, I have two pending prospects. They want literature. Get some money, which is good, because I just realized I'm extremely low. I'm at 420, which is a pretty nice number, but it's awfully low. From all the supplies and fuel I've been buying, I think. Oh, they sell sacks of seeds. And I think that's it. I figure while I'm over by the circus, let's also explore this area here. So if I go up through Chance's Gloom and this little kidney, spleen, <laughs> looks kind of like an organ. Uh, if we go up through here, I feel like it's probably going to connect to Hybris. So let's do it. I'm a little bit, like, slightly low on fuel. I couldn't buy any at the circus, but we should be fine. Weirdly enough, I don't know what, if anything, the hy uh, Hybris sells for supplies or fuel because it doesn't say. You know, normally... At the bottom, it says this port sells supplies or fuel or both. This one says nothing, which means it's either a bug or they just don't sell anything. Look at all these fungal colonies. Is this nature? The fairy tales don't mention pustules. The princess is revolted by hybris. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I don't know if I have any business on hybris. Can't remember. I think I've only been here once. I remember a while ago I was left a message from somebody at hybris. I don't know what they wanted me to do, though. Wait, something... something's wrong. 
Hybris dessert at the colonists, houses are dark, and there's no sign of a soul about. The smithy is empty, no smoke comes from the Brendan's chimneys. The fretwork on the town hall remains unfinished. A bee laced with curling fronds flies by, its drone the only sound in Hybris. Bright purple mushrooms dot the greenery. What the hell? Um... Port report? Everyone is gone aside from the station master. The fungus, however, remains. Someone will surely be interested in what has occurred here. The station master professes ignorance. His manner is not improved in the absence of everyone else. There are new shades to the fungus. Indigo, violet, jet. The trees have taken on a new pallid hue. Spores cloud the air. The silence is almost restful. Where is everyone? The pernickety factor is alarmed. This is very disagreeable. I was expecting to find people here. Disappearing like this is extremely rude. Did I pick up the pernickety factor because of the note that was waiting for me back at New Winchester? I don't remember. Actually, we should probably look at the journal, huh? Oh, actually, I just finished it, but actually that would put it under completed. Escorting the pernickety factor completed. She's a requested transport. You have brought the pernickety factor to Hybris. That tells me nothing. <laughs> you split up and make a quick circuit of the village. You discover tables laid out for dinner. Cold tea still in Nance's pot. The notes, in large print, half written for the mayor's council meeting laid out on his desk. You find the pernickety factor near the station. She holds up a piece of disintegrating mushroom that resembles a crocus. I found this near the town hall. There's a new field of them out in the forest. This is most irregular. Let's keep looking. Disintegrating mushroom that resembles a crocus. What is a crocus? Crocus. Oh, it's a genus of flowering plants in the iris family. Hundred percent chance of success. That's good. Let's do that. Explore the colony. The Hybrians must have left some sign of their passage. Gardening seems to become particularly popular lately. Wheelbarrows have been cobbled together from castoffs from the carpenter's workshop. Purple fungus, purple fungus-like crocuses dot the green. Meanwhile, food rots in the Brendan's larders, and the carpentry in the town hall is infected with creeping mushrooms. All recent work, aside from gardening, appears to have been abandoned altogether. The pernickety factor coughs away spores. There's a superior researcher on LNS, on LNS's nature reserve who might be able to tell us more about these wretched mushrooms. The purple fungus sprouting all over Hybris is very similar to the one Madame Lumiere was filming. Perhaps she might know something. What in the hell happened here? Consult an expert in hybrid fungus at Ledbetter and Stainer on Nature Reserve to continue your investigation. Scavenge the abandoned settlement for f fuel and supplies. I'm not going to do that until I know that everybody's like gone gone. They might come back, right? Let's wander Hybris. Colony is even quieter with everyone gone. You wade through the boggy marshes around Hybris, disturbed only by the occasional drone of a bee. Smoke still pours from the station master's chimney, but he's not inclined to leave. You spot old footprints heading towards the fungal forest, but nothing more. I still like saying that. Fungal forest. Fungal forest. The crew requests a little R&R, shore leave in a fungal meadow. Would they really want to have R&R &R in this creepy place that everybody's disappeared at? Sure. Um. They follow you out into what passes for a meadow between livid mushrooms and oozing polyps. The silence of the place hangs heavily on you. Some of the crew attempt to break it with a ballad of the promised days. Join the crew in their song, forge for mushrooms, or search for bronzewood splinters. 
Join the crew in their song. Yeah, reduce terror. Your voice is cut into the still meadow air, easing the tension. Even in a dark place like this, camaraderie offers warmth. You return to the train, feeling considerably better. Oh, that that explains why it was marked as not selling anything. Because it doesn't sell anything, because people are gone. Right? The store isn't there anymore. Uh, well, Bergen's are still there, but the normal store isn't there? Or maybe it was just never there. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to buy them all. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I am going to head over to the nature reserve to see if we can figure out what's happened on Hybris.